shoot. Headed to go replace the rotors. And some brakes. We gotta go to Denton, Anna, Texas, Plano, Texas, Irvin, Texas. here in Plano, about to be looking at a Nissan Altima. See what's going on with it. Look at this FJ. It's kind of nice looking thick. Very much thick. Yeah, it might not even need a starter. It might just be a battery connection. So that's good. That is good. How you doing? Pretty good. If he replaced the battery and it started right up, it's more than likely it just was just the connections. He didn't replace it, but it's the same battery. He uh -huh. just went to AutoZone and uh, got it charged, and then he put it back in there, and there was some acid on there, so mm. he got some, a little bit of the acid off, and then he put it back in there, and then it just started it back up on its own. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna double check. Yeah, after checking the battery uh connections, it started right up. He trying to come in. Okay. Look at that dude. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, uh, seems like it's good. I am loving this camera quality too. Sheesh. Yeah, it was just the battery connections on that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's all it be. See, I didn't realize this battery was under the, was at the tire. Yeah, this one, you got to remove the tire, and it's right here, actually. Okay. In this wheel well. finished the second car today this one just needed to be jumped I'm sitting for like uh three months dodge avenger all right now we head into anna anna texas See what's up with a uh, 300 Chrysler out here in these woods. It gets really dark out here though too. You see the stars. Whip. Mm -hmm. When it was jacked up, how it was doing like that. So, okay. if I get up to a certain speed, it'll, you can feel it. Feel the vibration on it. Okay. Uh, so. I've been working on this car for a minute. Actually, it's got uh, 235,000 miles. 
This is actually like the most smiles I've seen out of a Chrysler. It's very impressive. But he takes really good care of his cars too. Always gets the maintenance done on time. Get the tune up every every sixty to a hundred thousand. That whining noise, that's gotta be like a alternator bearing. Cause the power steering on here is electric. Yeah. Definitely an alternator bearing. I'm feeling a thump in the rear. That's got to do something with um, that rear differential bushing. It was like a mount bushing. Mm, yeah. I'm going ahead and replace that. Yeah, so we definitely confirmed that it's just a tie rod in on this side, so that's all we're going to be replacing. And Definitely wasn't the hub bearings. But it's not messing up the alternator, so uh, yeah, it's charging, it's charging well. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't even bother with that. Yeah, it was a little, it was a little slow start the other day, though, after that freeze. Mm -hmm. It had been sitting out here for three days. Yeah. And it's like, Battery finally kicked enough enough juice to get it tipped over. Mm -hmm. that, that storm killed my lady's uh, car. I had put her in on a uh, little battery tipping. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you didn't want to see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right there. Oh, okay. So I need to get the 
I gotta get a special tool that takes that off too. Let me see if this might work. Sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's looking worn out too. Mm -hmm. You may need a wheel alignment, but I'm gonna count the turns uh, when I'm putting it back on. Okay. So you may be able to avoid it. Yeah, so for this one, we're gonna come back to the repair because some of the parts wasn't available. So usually when it's like that, I'll just order them online so it comes out cheaper. Because it has to be ordered anyways, regardless. Filling this whole girl up. And then we head into Denton. Gotta work on some brakes out there. Thirsty girl. It didn't feel so bad today, actually. But I also wasn't, I wasn't empty. That's the depressing part. That's crazy. It's like a half a tank. Swisher Road. apartments looking for infinity I think it's around here it might be that blue one right there no that's a is that infinity yeah might be the one it might be the one I'm gonna be replacing these brakes So it's been sitting. Uh-huh. So that's why. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, I feel like it's this side. That's probably where the noise is coming from. It's on the back side, that's for sure. That they is for sure. Them at the same time, right? Yeah, y'all was gonna replace them in twos. Okay. I'm gonna be replacing the rotors and the brakes on this. Thankfully with this one we don't have to uh disengage any like electronic parking or anything so that's good put that parking brake on where are my manners I know, just <laughs> horrible Don't up, oh, i ain't <laughs> <laughs> all right Never that. Asbestos. See on this one the parking brake is integrated inside of the rotor. It's pretty cool. Grand. Looking at everything else under here, bushings, ball joints, nothing seems abnormal. Look at the airlines. That's a, that's an air shock. So it's probably controlled by air in the back, coils in the front. Looking at the wheel speed sensors, anything that might draw my attention, EVAP hoses, fuel pump wiring, CV axle boots, check these coils, exhaust, any kind of leaks.
side loop. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. Pretty wow. pads came in this big old box. It's funny. Five minutes or less. Damn, zing. Finishing up with the brakes, doing a multi-point inspection. I'm gonna clean these terminals. Oh, terrible. Nissans always do this. It must gotta do something with the metal that they use. That 5.6 V8. These are pretty reliable too. We head into the next one. Car repair number four. Out there in Richardson. It's like 40 minutes away. This next car we're working on is a 2016 Kia Forte, and it just needed to. It's funny, this AutoZone, they gotta get extra security because apparently there's a somebody that used to work there got fired, they trying to get their job back. But now they about to pull up with a whole bunch of people and fuck some shit up. All right, last car of the day. This one just had a cylinder two misfire and it needed some ignition coils.
it's pretty simple. Just replace in number two coil and all four plugs. That feels like someone's making a nest over here. That'll cause a misfire too. They chewing at the wires. So one, two. It look pretty nice too. Let's see what number two spark plug looks like. It don't look too bad. Pre-gapped. I use my drill to speed up the process. I don't use that to tighten. Just get it in there quick, and I tighten it by hand on the low setting. That. Doing it this way, if you know what you're doing, they you can guide them in there pretty easy without cross threading or anything. I'm looking at this this number two wire. Looks like it's gonna need a slight repair. And damn right. Huh? No, they left.